what's going on youtube welcome back to the channel clt aviation 13 here with our flagship airport update of charlotte um, this update consists of a lot of um not a whole lot of new airplanes but it's just a different setup i haven't really used in a while um this is kind of mocking what it, um how the airport looks before american is in their bank um you know their their bank their rush whatever you want to call it of flights um <clears throat> But for those that aren't familiar with how the banks work, you know, all the planes come in at a certain time and then within like a 35, 45 minute time frame, everyone's shuffled through the airport. All the planes are loading up at the gates. And then, you know, once around wherever that certain time is, whatever wave they're on for the day, everything pushes out and, and uh, everything just fires out. So that's what we're looking at today. Um, if you're enjoying this content, uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. It's a big help for me as well. Um, and before we get things rolling, we're going to start on the left side. So we'll start with the 777-200, the One World one, and then we'll make our way all the way down. And I don't know how we'll finish, but we'll get there. So I um, hope you guys enjoy today's video, and we will get things going. So here we are with the American One World 777-200. And uh, this route I'm about to say does not fly today, technically. Um, but just a little kind of notice when I do these videos. I usually do the routes based off of the month that I'm recording in. Um, so technically, if a flight was flying, you know, for for our case, October 1st, you know, if one plane was flying somewhere, but it's not flying as the day of the recording, which is uh, October 23rd, um, I'll still include just because it's within the month. Um, so that's kind of what we're going to, what I'm kind of explaining here. This is um, American Airlines Flight 9720 with service to Munich. This is the cargo flight, um, not operating anymore. Um, just from what I was, from what I read, it was just because there's just not enough freight movement to make it worth it right now, um, which is unfortunate. But um, if everything goes as planned, the London Heathrow route, which is three weekly, um, begins in November. First week of November is when it begins. Um, I believe it operates Wednesdays, Fridays, Mondays, maybe, or Sundays, Wednesday, Friday, Monday, something like that. Um but yeah, so we still have a 777 flight active as of today, which is the Miami flight. So you'll see that later in the video. Um, but I still want to include this because it's nice having some extra wide bodies um, to go off of here. So we'll go move on from that. We have our next section, which is just a whole bunch of Americans. Um, as usual, we'll start with the A321, which is getting loaded up. This is the Charlotte version, which is operating flight 1740 with service to San Diego. And then next we have an A319 operating flight 1893 to service to New York LaGuardia. And then a 737-800. Uh, it's pretty cool because the 777 and the 737-800 base is active. Um, even before we had a base from the 737s, we got probably maybe 40 to 60 flights a day on the 738, uh, depending on the season. Um, so it's nice to see, uh, you know, I'm, I'm an Airbus fan. I'll always be uh, an Airbus guy. Um, I don't have any, you know, there's some planes in the Boeing products I don't really care for, like the 737 Max, um, but I'm not a Boeing hater by any means. It's actually really nice seeing a little bit of variety. Um, having the 737s on a daily basis provides us with the opportunity to see more of the retro libraries for the 738s, which is always nice. Um, and we always have a bunch of A319, so we kind of get pretty spoiled here with special libraries from American. So um, it's nice to see that a little bit of uh, variety and hopefully it'd be cool to get the Max. I just, I, I just, I don't know. I'm just not a Max fan. I just, I love the Neos and the Airbuses and all that stuff. But um, with that being said, we'll move on to our next aircraft. This is another A319, which is operating flight 2218 with service to Myrtle Beach. And this is the Piedmont A319 uh, operating flight 724 with service to Jacksonville. And then we have an A321. This is just the, uh, <laughs> this is the ghetto A321. This one has just all the mess. This thing, should, <laughs> I say it every time I record a video with this one in it, but this one's just the awful one. I just keep it just because it's, it kind of helps me with my A321 flights. Um, really hoping NG, I was hoping I left the Delta up here, 321, just to show you. I did get the 321 CFM uh, models finally. And uh, I just really wanted to compare. I'll do that in a video probably, but I'll compare the engine sizes. And just to kind of uh, educate people on how CFM should look in modern day one to four hundred planes, um, and not to be bamboozled and fooled by uh, Jimmy Jet's one to four hundred CFMs because they are uh, awful. So, 
Um, I'm gonna have this guy go to operate flight 2196, service to Detroit. And um, here is the, uh, sorry, this is the uh, Bangor flight, which is uh, the Embraer 175. Uh, used to be uh, CRJ 900s, um, but it uh, recently got upgraded to the 175. And I'm not sure, I know on some days it's two daily, I'm not sure if it's every day, I can't actually remember. Um, I, I glanced the schedule, I just don't remember what I was looking at, so. Uh, here's another A319, this is the Allegheny one. Uh, later on in the video, I have PSA in. I don't think PSA has been in the video for a while, and that's more so because I literally haven't seen PSA in forever. Um, at the airport, it's been on the, uh, it's unfortunately been on the West Coast and Midwest a lot, so. Um, I think it's been back a few times, but just not as consistent as what I, what I would like to see it. But anyways, this is the uh, Allegheny Operating Flight 1943 with service to New Orleans. Um, and then we have another A319. And, you know, it's we get a lot of A319 flights, so I was kind of lucky that I was able to kind of salvage up a lot of the, um, the good mold. This is the good mold. I mean, uh, you know, I don't want to mess the display up, but the engines, you can just tell how better proportion the engines are as compared to the engines on this A321. But uh, anyways, uh, this 319 is gonna make a flight to Kansas City. And then next up, we have the One World 737-800. And again, one of the benefits of the, having a lot of 738 flights now is they're actually heading out to the West Coast quite frequently. Now they're not doing, you know, still not as much as what the 321s do. The A321s, I'd probably say it's about 65%. 321 flights to the west coast maybe even 70 because when you think about it um like phoenix kind of just chews up a bunch of airbuses out west and maybe a few 737s in the mist but um you'll kind of hear throughout the video i'll try i'm trying to throw in some more west coast flights because that's always been lacking since there hasn't been a good 321 um uh, model now i know there's the sharklet one but um we just don't get a lot of sharklets we probably get about it really just depends on the 321 sharklets. We probably get about one to five per day. So compared to the wing fence ones, it's it's you know it's not it's ridiculous how many wing fences we still get, which is good because I prefer those anyways. But anyways, this is American Airlines Flight 600 with service to Seattle, and now we're looking down the regional lineup right here. Um, I have to say it every time, just more so because if there's new people to the video. Um, and if this is their first time watching the video, they're probably like, why are there U.S. Airways planes in the video? Um, this is solely just because there's no, uh, t yet to this day, in 2020, um, approaching 2021, thank God, um, there's still no American Eagle CRJ 900. Uh, it's most unfortunate, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, but anyways, first one is going to Rapid City as flight 5304. And then the CRJ 900 uh, next to it is operating flight 5435 to Savannah. And then I'll move the camera a little bit since it's blurry. And we have the uh, Embraer 145 operating flight 4118 to Champaign, Illinois. Looking nice. Um, it's a shame. Again, I wish I was able to pick up more of these Embraer 145s. Uh, but when it was released, it was back when Charlotte only got a few of them. And I never anticipated actually getting, you know, a bunch of them. So uh, one day, you know. Maybe I'll try to scour up a few more, but they're extremely expensive on eBay, so I'm not sure if I want to do that. Uh, and last on this section for the video, and then we'll kind of switch around and do the other part. This is uh, flight 5098 with service to South Bend. All right, everyone, on to the next phase of the video. Um, this is some American Airlines planes just hanging around um, before a flight. And then inside the hangar, we have the, this is the OG 222. Um, like I mentioned on Instagram, I was waiting for the my new 777 to get here, and you'll see that later on in the video. Uh, but I still just want to throw this guy in the hangar just for aesthetics purposes. Um, so yeah, that's that. So 222 in the hangar, getting serviced. And then on to the next phase. Here's the UPS MD-11 with service to Louisville, getting loaded up. And then um, I'm going to swing around real quick just to get a better angle, so just give me one moment here. Um, so this was a Carolina Panthers charter. Uh, actually, yeah, I think it was the Panthers when I went to Atlanta um, a few weeks ago. A330-300 came in. Uh, so this guy is heading to Atlanta. Obviously not the most recent schedule. I think that was week five. 
um, we're on week seven now. Maybe it was week four, honestly. But anyways, um, it's kind of sad. This is my only excuse of putting an, an actual A through 30 in. Uh, just crazy how different things are right now with, uh, you know, just, just how everything's been impacted by COVID. And um, the American fleet was just basically wiped. So <laughs> not having any A330s is, will still always be weird to me. Um, but anyways, a little fun fact, the Detroit Lions come in November 22nd, I think it is. It would be the 21st they would fly in on a charter. And if they're still using it, they do charter the A350. So um, I plan on getting a 350 Delta model anyways because I really want one. And um, it would be I would definitely put that in a video, one of our November updates. So that's that. We'll head over to the next side here. Uh, so we'll start with the 737-800. This is operating flight 1736 with service to Portland. And our only international airline that is currently active is Volaris with service to Guadalajara. Then we have the uh, retro US Airways plane, A321, uh, flight 1364 with service to Los Angeles. And then the American A320 operating flight 2215 with service to Minneapolis. And here's another Sharklet A321 uh, was operating flight 606 with service to Sacramento. And here's the new 777-200. Uh, it looks really nice uh, from the, whatchamacallit, the initial, you know, the when they first announced the releases um, and they show the first pictures. I mean, yeah, it looks a little dark, right? Uh, I would say it's pretty comparative to the um, One World color. It might be just a shade darker, but I think it's around the same. Um you know, as much as I wanted every American plane to be like the A321neo, uh, phew, it, they don't listen, right? So it's not like a, it doesn't really matter anymore. Um, and I don't foresee any other model aircraft company making an American 777-200 at least. So just have to take what I got, right? So um, I do have a couple of these on order. I actually have another one. It's I just put it straight into my uh, cabinets because there's no I don't need all these 777s right now. I just got it to kind of future proof when things get a little bit better. Um, hopefully there's some more triple seven flights. So I'll have some extras when I need them. And uh, yeah, so I, I might sell one of them. I, I just, I don't know. I just have to see how everything goes. Um, but uh, holy crap, I forgot what it's, I didn't even mention where he's going. So 2880, this is the active triple um, seven flight as of today with service to Miami. And then a 737-800. Operating flight 875 to Montego Bay. Here's the PSA 319. Um, this aircraft is going to operate flight 423 to my buddy's hometown, Philadelphia. Um, moving on to the TWA 737-800. And this is operating flight 807 to Salt Lake City. So like I said, things are getting better <laughs> with, with West Coast. I'm able to provide a lot more routes out of here. Um, fingers crossed one day, NG Models makes... An A321 American Airlines wing fence model. I don't care if it's CFM. Preferably be CFM. I'm, I I just like CFMs better. Uh, uh, I don't know. There's some instances where I like it better, some I don't. Um, CFM, IE, whatever it is, as long as it's wing fence and the color is good enough, that would, I would be that would make my day. So, all right. So here we are for the next part of the video. This is just a C17. I uh, still need to get more of these guys, but uh, this is heading out for another training route. And then next up, we have um, the American section on Concourse A. Really happy this happened in real life because it really provides me with a little bit more flexibility to park more airplanes for American. Um, they currently use, this is obviously the way I have it is set up to mimic the setup of real life ACON. <clears throat> so this is Alpha 2, 4, 6, 8. 10. Um, they do use all five of these. And then um, Delta uses, this would be A1, 3, 5, 7, so on, so on. Um, I think Delta uses, actually Delta uses A13 as well. And then these two are used by Contour, I think. I'm not sure which one Contour uses. I think they use like A12 or something. Um, not sure exactly. I can't remember. Sometimes they're, they, they've even been on A29. So it just depends. Um, this 319 is operating flight 2934 with service to Syracuse. Then 737-800 with service to San Juan. And then we have the America West Heritage 319 operating flight 862 service to 
um, Sarasota. And then we have a 319. And I'm going to have this guy go down to um, uh, Tampa. And then Snoopy. Shout out to Snoopy. And then starting from the top here, we actually get enough 717s now. I can kind of throw in some extras, um, especially for overnight because Delta keeps a couple 717s over here. But this is operating flight 1719, service to Atlanta. And shout out to the 737-800 Sky Team. I mean, all these years of not being able to provide a flight to Salt Lake City, um, more so because I'm kind of against buying some planes that are... From the 737-800s I've seen from Gemini Jets, just not very pleased with them. Obviously, the OG model one I just never had, obviously. Um, but the newer ones, I just couldn't I just couldn't get myself to buy it. And obviously, some planes I have to buy, like American, because that's just for the hub. I kind of had to deal with it, but uh, I wasn't going to deal with some of the models. So finally, we have the Salt Lake City flight. I know it operates on a 319 in the winter, so technically, actually, I, I've had it at some point. Um, but now it's I, I can do it year round. Uh, so hopefully they make a normal 738 library so we don't have to see the Sky Team every every video, even though it's really nice. But anyways, this is flight 794 with service Salt Lake City. And then 717, operate flight 2039 with service to Detroit. And good old JetBlue, I don't know. I never see them half the time. Um, they're still operating four weekly. Um, not really sure what to say about them. Very displeased with their, their lack of effort here, um, as usual. Mm. Obviously, they're flying to a business market, being Boston. Business travel is not where it is. I'm not trying to say I'm a know-it-all or anything, but something would, you know, tell me that flying from Charlotte to Fort Lauderdale might be a better idea um, if you're trying to, you know, fill a plane up a little bit. Because I know the Boston flights aren't being filled anything. So I don't know. They know more than I do. So um, this is flight 218 with service to Boston. And then Southwest 737-700. Operating flight 1873 to Chicago Midway. And then this was a 321, kind of gets substituted every so often. Flight 199 was service to Denver. And I'm stepping on paper. I have a master plane down here. I laid out to flatten it a little bit, but uh, I try not to step on it here. Um, United Embraer 175. Operating flight 6013 was service to Houston. And then here's the new library one. Uh, this guy is operating flight 5604, service to Denver. And then we have the last Ember 175, and this guy is going to head to uh, Chicago. All right, to the final part of the video, this will be really quick. Just got a couple planes to get through. Uh, shout out to Baby Yoda up there. Hopefully, <laughs> just everyone appreciates my uh, my new Baby Yoda little Christmas decorated thing I found at uh, Home Goods. So shout out to Baby Yoda. Uh, Mandalorian coming back very, very soon, October 30th. Can't wait. Um, here's a Spirit A321. This aircraft actually was substituted yesterday, uh, October 22nd. So this aircraft will be heading to Orlando as flight 1101. And then here's Florida 1, 737-700, operating flight 1866 with service to Baltimore. And last but not least, 737-800 by United. Um, I don't think it's scheduled anymore. Our only mainline flight is to Houston as a 737-700. But a few days ago, or up until a few days ago, the 738 would come in from uh, Chicago, and then it would go to Newark. It's flight 278. And there's also a 737-800 that came in from Chicago as well, and then it went to Washington, Dulles. But those both don't exist right now. <laughs> so, you know, you got, you got to love that meme. And it's gone. So, yeah, there it goes. Um so that's that, guys. That is the update of my Charlotte model airport. This will always be the flagship for me, so I always try my best effort for this in terms of realism. It's easier to keep up with it when I follow it all the time. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's update. And um, got some exciting things planned. It's just going to take time to initiate what I want to do. Um, but I have some, some nice displays planned for the future. Um, that will be, uh, I'll give you a little bit of a hint, it will be something with Delta. Uh, so I think it's going to be an exciting opportunity to have, uh, especially for me, because it, it's just a, it'll be a little bit of a sentimental display for myself. So it's going to be really fun. Um, don't expect anytime soon, but it's down the pipeline. Anyways, thank you again for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.